I've got a, a man that's looking to do what some people are saying is impossible. I don't think so. He's going to go to Mexico, May 6, live on the zone to take on the undisputed super middleweight champion, Canada Alvarez. That man, obviously, is John Ryder. Uh, John, me and you were speaking about this, and we were like, well, it could happen in Vegas, maybe the Emirates, maybe even the Middle East. When you were told you were going to go to Mexico, what was your first reaction? Well, I think uh, I, I kind of called it on in a way. I said I'd love to go to the Azteca, 100,000 Mexicans. Didn't quite get the Azteca, got 50,000 in Guadalajara. So, listen, I've called it on now. I've got, uh, I've got to back it up. You certainly have. What was it like? You've been out there, you've done a couple of press conferences, you've done one in Mexico, you've done one in the States. What was it like there, sampling the atmosphere early? It was good, it was great. They was, uh, they was very welcoming. I'm sure they won't, be so, won't be so welcoming in, uh, in four, four weeks' time. But, um, and come fight night, they were, they'll be very hostile, I, I, I can imagine, but it was great to do the press tour over there, a uh, day in uh, Guadalajara, then, then to San Diego, but it was, it was good to get there, to come face to face with him and uh, really get the fight over the line. What does it mean for your career, John? It's been a long career. I, I think you've been on the wrong end of a couple of results as well. But what, what a fantastic story that is, how you've just kept on going, moved up to super middleweight, and now you get to take on one of the greats of the sport. Yeah, I think this is the silver lining of my career. Yeah. I think um, I've had my ups and downs, and I've, I've, I've took the knocks, and I've come back stronger for it. So I think this fight is coming at the right time. Um, I'm probably at the best mentally and physically that I could ever be. So uh, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. Where do you think Canelo is in his career? Obviously, he did beat Golovkin, but he's coming off that bivol defeat. Some people say he's not what he once was. For me, still a top five pound for pound. Where do you think he is? Listen, he's still, he's still well up there as one of the best pound for pound in the world currently, and uh, not even that, the best of our generation as such. So he's very on a short list of, of the top fighters. So uh, he's still dangerous, and I think the best of him still might be to come. You know what, May 6th, what, five, six weeks away? Um, obviously, you've been training um, over here in London. When do you go out to Mexico? When do you finish your fight camp? Heading to Vegas on uh, April 20th, so we'll get, get out of there two weeks beforehand. One week in Vegas and head down to Guadalajara and uh, get the final, final few days sharpening the tools. You are very much going into the lion's pit. Be honest, how many of your friends did you say, okay, we're fighting in Mexico? How many of them said, okay, um, maybe we don't travel out there with you, John? <laughs> I think I've got about 50 booked up already, so okay, okay. Not, not too bad. Um, but there was a bit of an issue with tickets and whatnot on the, on the link, so not everyone can get the tickets they wanted, but it's going to be good. We're going to have a good crowd out there. And, um, Listen, the Mexican fans love a fight, so yeah. I'm sure I'll have some cheers there myself. Indeed. Do you ever picture it? You know, they always say fighters picture the victory. You can almost sort of dream the performance. Has that entered your head yet? Yeah, I think I'll be stood there like that with <laughs> five belts on my arms, weighing me down. <laughs> but John, honestly, it's been an amazing career. I'm so happy for you because, again, you've had a couple of close decisions. The Callum Smith one springs to mind where you could have become a world champion. This is what it is to be a fighter, though, isn't it? To keep on going, persevering and eventually you get what you deserve. Yeah, it all makes for a better story, I think. When you look back on your career and talk about the ups and the downs and the rough and the smooth, and yeah, I think it's all going all gonna to lead to a better story in the end. 20,000 or so in here, it's going to be nearly double that or more than double that in Mexico. Can you imagine what that's going to sound like? I mean, he's going home. He hasn't fought there for a very, very long time. You're going to try and go and rip those belts away from him in front of all his fans. Yeah, it's going to be um, some atmosphere, I'm sure, but I'm relishing the opportunity and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Indeed. John, good luck. Honestly, May 6th, live on the zone. This man going to Mexico to try and become the undisputed super middleweight champion. Should be a cracking fight.